This is Richard Hammond's Porsche 911. Um, this is mine, which is just a little bit better in a great many ways, starting with the shape of these rear lights, moving through to the improved engine, the improved interior, the improved sat-nav, the slightly better gear change, the clearer instruments, a far more tasteful colour scheme, uh, a more appropriate choice of wheels. Hammond has made some mistakes, like he's kept the Carrera S badging, which is extremely aspirational. You're saying, I haven't just bought the Carrera, I've bought the slightly more powerful Carrera S version. That's why the S is very big. You know, I'm better than you, I tried a bit harder at school, I'm slightly more successful. Mine is actually a Carrera 2S, exactly the same as Hammond's, but I, I dispensed with that because I thought it was a bit boastful, really. I've just had the optional 911 badge put on, and even that's a bit fatuous, to be honest, because this car has been around exactly the same length of time as I have. It's been with us since 1963, and everybody really knows what it is. It's a, it's a 911, so, but you have to have something there, really, so I've just gone for 911. Um, other areas in which mine is superior, let's see. Well, this is the Gen 2 car. I don't know if you know that. Hammond's is quite a bit older, and, and it's got a couple of little dings in it. Mine is it's slightly dusty at the moment, but it is mint, uh, because I look after things, and... Um, I'd, I'd love to show you inside, but somebody's taken the keys away, but I've got the improved touchscreen sat-nav and communication centre, whereas Hammond has the, the fiddly little buttons for people who have had a biro grafted onto their index finger. And the one thing he does have that I don't have is the built-in telephone, which was, again, a massive mistake, because he's rang me up hundreds of times on long journeys, and by the end of the conversation, if I keep it going for a bit, he's shouting and screaming his head off in, a, in an attempt to be heard, and he's quite possibly told me about a number of of really quite serious family tragedies uh, which I've just laughed at because I can't hear what he's saying and I just you know I go yeah yeah, yeah terrific <laughs> yeah because it's just a noise coming down the telephone and actually it's you know all sorts of terrible things which is probably why he doesn't like me